Bienvenidos. En esta ocasión analizaremos el comentario del popular Bill Nye, The Science Guy, en donde él da una opinión personal sobre los fantasmas y sobre si hay una vida después de la muerte. Previo a cada segmento analizaré algunas oraciones que se van a escuchar para que se les haga más fácil el entenderlo. No creo que haya tal cosa. I don't think there is any such thing. Nada de qué temer cuando se trata de fantasmas. Anything to be afraid of when it comes to ghosts. Un miembro de tanto los escépticos y el Consejo de Investigación Científica. A member of both the skeptics and the Council for Scientific Inquiry. Hemos buscado casas poseídas. We have looked for haunted houses. Ellos están en contacto con gente que está muerta. They're in touch with people who are dead. Ahora escucharemos el segmento. He bajado la velocidad del audio para que oigan la pronunciación de todas las palabras. Well, we start with ghosts. I'll tell you, I don't think there is any such thing. I don't think there's anything to be afraid of when it comes to ghosts. Uh, you know, I'm a member of both the Skeptics and the C Council for Scientific Inquiry. And we have looked and looked for haunted houses, for ghosts in cemeteries, for psychics who believe they're in touch with uh, people who are dead. And there's absolutely no credible evidence. There's no reason to believe that there are ghosts or life after death. Él nunca se contactó con nadie. He never got in touch with anyone. Nadie escuchó de él. No one ever heard from him. And you may know that Houdini, the famous magician, said, if anybody can come back from the dead, it's me, man. I'm coming. And he never got in touch with anyone. It, it, no one ever heard from him. He had a secret word between he and his mother that he said, you know, I'll give you the secret word when I come back. And you know what the secret word is? Nobody knows it was secret, and he never came back. Es decir, that is to say, un golpe en la noche, a bump in the night. Tú quieres saber qué lo provocó. You wanna know what brought it on. Un ser allá afuera. An entity out there. Nosotros intuitivamente o instintivamente, por razones antiguas, le damos un patrón a eso. We intuitively or instinctively, for ancient reasons, put a pattern on it. El viento sopló y volcó la vela. The wind blew and knocked the candle over. Olvídalo. Get over it. But what happens to humans, we, our brains are so active. We imagine so many things and we're always looking for cause and effect. That is to say, When you hear a bump in the night, you want to know what caused it. You want to know what brought it on. And the first 
first thing you might imagine is that there's somebody or some entity out there causing this effect, the bump, but you can't see it. So then we intuitively or instinctively for ancient reasons uh, put a pattern on it. We imagine it has an agent, as we call it, that there's something out there, some agent is causing this. But it could be the wind blew and knocked a candle over and there's no ghosts and just get over it. Don't be afraid of that. Cuando se trata de la vida después de la muerte, when it comes to life after death, he pensado en esto bastante. I've thought about this quite a bit. ¿Cómo eres cuando estás muerto? What are you like when you're dead? Si tú observas a la gente envejecer, if you watch people age, mi querida abuela, My beloved grandmother. Ella tuvo demencia. She got dementia. Ella finalmente murió de vejez. She eventually died of old age. Un fantasma después de muerta. An after death ghost entity. Now, when it comes to life after death, I've thought about this quite a bit, and what happens, what are you like when you're dead? If you watch people age, Like my grandmother, my beloved grandmother. She was so smart when I was a little kid. But as she got older, she got dementia. She could not remember things. She didn't recognize me. And so she eventually died of old age. And I just don't see any evidence that she would suddenly be a young person as an after-dead ghost entity. Esto es todo. No hay nada después. This is it. There's nothing afterwards. Eso es lo que debemos hacer. That's the way to go. Si resulta que hay una vida después de esta vida, if it does turn out there's an afterlife, lo que sea que querramos hacer, whatever it is we want to do, tanto mejor, so much the better. Tú puedes ser más listo que ellos. You can outwit them. Estarás delante de ellos. You'll be ahead of them. En cambio, instead, impedir que la vela sople y vuelque, to keep the candle from blowing over. Aquí considero que él se equivocó y quiso decir el viento en vez de la vela. Cualquier cosa que hizo que tu amigo creyera en un fantasma. Whatever made your friend believe in a ghost. Continúa. Carry on. It looks like, to me, this life is all you get. 
this is it. There's nothing afterwards. So what you got to do is live this life as best you can. That's the way to go. And if it does turn out there's an afterlife and we all turn young again and can play rugby or whatever it is we want to do, uh, so much the better, but I see no evidence for it. And for your son there, there are no ghosts. Sorry. And your friends who believe in ghosts, uh, you can outwit them. You will be ahead of them because you will not waste energy running around looking for ghosts. Instead, you'll close the window to keep the candle from blowing over whatever made your friend believe in a ghost. Carry on. I'm sorry, but it seems to be apparently this is all you get. Ahora oiremos todo el audio a velocidad normal. Si no quieren leer el texto y solo escucharlo, simplemente eviten ver la pantalla. Let me start with ghosts. I'll tell you, I don't think there is any such thing. I don't think there's anything to be afraid of when it comes to ghosts. Uh, you know, I'm a member of both the Skeptics and the C Council for Scientific Inquiry. And we have looked and looked for haunted houses, for ghosts in cemeteries, for psychics who believe they're in touch with uh, people who are dead. And there is absolutely no credible evidence. There's no reason to believe that there are ghosts or life after death. And you may know that Houdini, the famous magician, said, if anybody can come back from the dead, it's me, man. I'm coming. And he never got in touch with anyone. It, it, no one ever heard from him. He had a secret word between he and his mother that he said, you know, I'll give you the secret word when I come back. And you know what the secret word is? Nobody knows it was secret. And he never came back. But what happens to humans, we... Our brains are so active, we imagine so many things, and we're always looking for cause and effect. That is to say, when you hear a bump in the night, you want to know what caused it. You want to know what brought it on. And the first thing you might imagine is that there's somebody or some entity out there causing this effect, the bump, but you can't see it. So then we intuitively or instinctively, for ancient reasons, Uh, put a pattern on it. We imagine it has an agent, as we call it, that there's something out there, some agent is causing this. But it could be the wind blew and knocked the candle over and there's no ghosts and just to get over it. Don't be afraid of that. Now, when it comes to life after death, I've thought about this quite a bit. And what happens, what do you like when you're dead? If you watch people age, like my grandmother, my beloved grandmother, She was so smart when I was a little kid. But as she got older, she got dementia. She could not remember things. She didn't recognize me. And so she eventually died of old age. And I just don't see any evidence that she would suddenly be a young person as an after-dead ghost entity. It looks like, to me, this life is all you get. This is it. There's nothing afterwards. So what you got to do is live this life as best you can. That's the way to go. And if it does turn out there's an afterlife and we all turn young again and can play rugby or whatever it is we want to do, uh, so much the better. But I see no evidence for it. And for your son there, there are no ghosts. Sorry. And your friends who believe in ghosts, Uh, you can outwit them. You will be ahead of them because you will not waste energy running around looking for ghosts. Instead, you'll close the window to keep the candle from blowing over whatever made your friend believe in a ghost. 
carry on. I'm sorry, but it seems to be apparently this is all you get. Hágame saber si ustedes desean escuchar todo el audio al final a velocidad normal. No lo hice antes, pues consideré que el video se hace muy largo. Una vez más, gracias y ya les traigo más videos de inglés.